Hello everybody and welcome, Sacred Trickster here, and I'm just gonna start today off by playing a little bit of Dead by Daylight, which I enjoy. Uh, soon I'll be playing the Evil Dead game, which is when it comes out, I'm gonna try to play some of that. I might have to actually be not actually, like, communicating as much, in a way. that with. So I'll be playing it by myself. Alright, so I'm going to jump into a few matches of this, um, everything like that. I'm, hopefully you'll survive in this. All depends on who I'm facing, so much killers are a pain in the butt. I always will consider them a pain in the butt. I know the new DLC will be coming out soon. I know this, uh, new year thing. is and all these leaks and everything so hopefully some of it's not right because I've seen one that said that uh, uh, 25 uh, it's going to be re another Resident Evil one but it's going to have Albert Wesker and then uh, Rebecca Chambers and Ada Young uh, Ada Wong as um the survivors for it. I'm like, why would, why would we need that? I'm like, yeah, I like Westgear. He's cool, but I don't think we need to have another Resident Evil. It would not make no sense. He's gonna use his long arm to stretch and hit us. Something uh, not right with that one. Like more characters would make sense, I think. You can add, like, Rebecca and Ada, probably for, like, uh, the Jill character. And then you can add a couple, like, other people throughout the series for the Leon character. For, like, other skins, kind of like how they're doing with Silent Hill. I think that would make sense. But not as another DLC. Like, we already had one Resident that was the case, just, they should have just like made a way for Nemesis not to use the tentacle, even though that's his main thing. And make it more like uh, Mr. X. And they can just have different skins for like Nemesis. All cakes! Which gives you uh, pretty good blood points and stacks at the end of the match. So we got times three. I don't know if they uh, stack up like that. Oh no, that means I'm facing the trickster if it says it right. The trickster slows you down by throwing knives. I never f I faced the trickster. I like him. He looks cool. Everything like that. I think he's cool and everything. Uh, besides that, I never really actually faced him. But I bet if you can get him really good, just like any of the killers, a lot of people say some of the killers are terrible. I think if you uh, really wanted to, you can probably get. Uh, or be a really amazing with any of the killers. It doesn't matter. It just takes time. 
Same with playing on Survivor. It just takes time. It's like, oh, I could survive a lot longer. I guess we are playing the trickster. I did see him while we was fixing that gin. Constantly throwing his knives. Ooh, I almost fucked up. He is coming this way. I better... Hopefully he did not see me. What was that? Oh, someone activated the hex. I like the trickster and stuff because I sacred trickster, so that's one of my reasons. I think it's pretty cool they had like a K pop star. As long as they keep them occupied where one of us can at least start fixing gins, that'd be is beneficial. Like I'm all, I almost halfway done with this one. And then there's another one right there. We only had that one gen fixed. Because we, uh, all three of us. Three of the four worked on it. Okay. okay. Now we got that one done. So that's good. That one done. I'm gonna go over here. Start on this one now. Insulate skill check, huh? I'm looking in the killer's direction, and the killer's now looking in mine. Dang. He was really good at keeping track of me. And I'm on a hook right here. I don't like that outfit. The whole feathery coat thing. Well, at least they have another hex out. So, they're fixing the gen though. When I first started playing this game, he's looking trash. When I first started playing this game, uh, he's not, he's like, gonna get me off the hook, and then he's gonna focus on me. Focus instantly on me because they got me off the hook. I can't do nothing about it either, which is stupid. Now I'm on the hook for the second time because they had to do it when he was right next to us. That's why I think some of his teammates are dumb. That's what just got me killed. So when I first started playing this game, uh, the killers used to just stand in front of the survivor's arm hooks.
that's how they used to get their kills. Like, they didn't care about anything else. They always just sat there and stood in front. I've been on the hook twice, so if he starts running this way, I am booking it. Somebody else can save me. I'm not going. So yeah, I'm probably just going to leave. Can they save him? Is the question. Because they're healed. One hasn't been on the hook yet. One has been on the hook. And... Doors open over there. They got him off the hook. Alright. But can they get him to the exit? Nope. They got him out. Okay. The another person dropped in the process. I'm leaving. I'm already been hooked twice. I'm not taking the chance. So I left. Yay, I fixed two gins. Hide ten meters of the killer. Now, right back into another match, but I need to get some supplies. Healing speed and chargers. Do I have another cake? So even if you start far away from the killer, like some of these suggest, you still have the chance of actually being next to the killer. If it's a small map. Which is kind of BS. Uh, I need to get flowers. Primrose. I need to get Sprint as well. So hopefully when I go up another level with him, the sprint, the sprint burst is there because they say that's one of the best ones to have for Quentin is sprint burst. So you can get away faster. You can move faster to avoid the killer. I like having the cat. Cats easy. Because you have the cat on, you can see if the killer's looking uh your direction. And if you have the other one that I have, you know if you're looking in the killer's direction. So you know exactly where he is. But that I think the cooldown needs to go. But it would be overbalanced if it went too fast. Maybe a little bit, not too much. Like a second. One second lower than what it is. It takes about, I think, six to seven seconds. To, it feels like six to seven seconds before it recharges. A good equal five seconds for a recharge. That'd be nice. Just then you can not constantly keep an eye out where the killer is. The treatment theater. Oh no. We're in the freaking hospital. I hate this map as well. It's not that bad. But all depends who the killer is. Which 
which always a pain in the shit. If it's the doctor, oh, I'm screwed. Just keep that. I'm gonna die instantly if it's the doctor. There's no way I'm gonna survive that. I don't like facing the doctor. That shock therapy gets me all the time. Only fixed the hex. Well, that's good. I wish it uh, helped out repair a little bit. Crap. Oh no, it's Ghostface. Sees her and not me. Cool. Can't believe I missed that. And he got rid of the hex. Ghostface can be a pain in the butt, too. He's kind of like Michael almost, but he can crouch. There's that. Get his stalking up, I think. It's the same thing. Get it up to like level 3 and then he can like do damage to you. More. The Huntress is definitely a pain in the butt. She can get a certain axe uh, at Arn and pretty much drop you with a single hit. That's if she hits you. That's if it's, it's still a pain in the butt. Two done. I'm about to be with the third one done here. Alright, so that's the third one. Also, in certain maps, if you didn't know, um, you get achievements for. Like, uh, here, in this map, if you get the one in the dead center, like in the shock therapy room. Crap, he seen me. Let's try to hide behind it. Run away. If you get the one in like the shock therapy room and you survive the match and you leave, uh, you're able you're actually able to get the achievement. Okay, I'm looking in his direction. He doesn't know I'm here. So he's probably trying to find me. generator okay, I can't do nothing with that generator with the entity on it Those two are up close. Is it one this way? He 
Yes, I know sprinting's a bad idea, but it helps me get around. Fix this one. And you escape. You do get an achievement, I know. And then there's one. You know, I know there's a few I got. the one in like uh where jigsaw and stuff resides Probably in stalking form, because he has no terrorists in stalking form. Ah! Where the hell? Where did he come from? And I'm always get. I want to always get down. I always get, have a hook right, right next to me. Yeah, go after that girl again, like an idiot. She's gonna lead you straight to me. charged left. We I mean, haven't got these two generators done, really. She's dead. She died. That one's getting put another hook now. The other one just needs to get put 
on the hook once. Get put on the hook once, and instantly will die. I'm screwed myself over. Uh. And he knows he instantly knew where you were at, and then you're gonna get grabbed off whatever that is. And then I die. So this game, he put uh, his wash. He's gonna instantly go drop her. Once he throws her on the hook, I'm, I'm instantly dead. There's no way she's gonna lose him. She's down, and I'm almost dead. And I died. I'm going to end this video here. If you liked it, you can always go to my YouTube channel and like, subscribe, hit the notification bell over there. And leave me a comment and tell me uh, what I need to improve on, suggest games you think I should play, and everything like that. And if you're not following me here on Twitch, go ahead and follow me here on Twitch. And I'll be making videos every single day. Soon I'll be making a lot more. More than just these little bit that I've been doing for the last few days. That being said, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.